This video has been produced to provide a resource for aspiring trainees to develop their proficiency in microvascular free flap reconstruction. We have chosen a deer flap model highlighting all the techniques surrounding a thoracodosal anastomosis. Using this model as an example, we would like to demonstrate some useful concepts and tips in microsurgery, in particular the ergonomics. My preferred anastomosis technique is also demonstrated, which you may find useful to adapt or to add to your repertoire. The key to successful outcome in a free tissue transfer is in preparation. Preparation of the patient preoperatively, preparation of the patient peroperatively, preparation of the artery and vein prior to the anastomosis all go towards making it a successful event. The preparation of the patient starts in theater with attention to positioning of the patient. The patient's arm is kept abducted with attention to prevent hyperabduction. It is also important for the arm to be at the same level as the rest of the patient's body. The patient should have pneumatic compression stockings, a catheter with thermometer to monitor the urine output and temperature. Esophageal Doppler is used to maintain the hemodynamics during the anesthesia. The draping has to be meticulous. All the areas of potential surgical intervention should be well exposed. It is quite important for the drapes not to flow onto the floor and interfering with diathermy and microscope pedals at a later time. 